So really going to see Pip for the first time was, was a real eye-opener in a lot of different ways. Prior to the visit with Jackson Galaxy, Pip was just a little terror. He would sit at the back door and wait for Red to come in. Pip would attack him. Um, it, was, it was quite violent, weren't you, naughty boy? He's got cerebellar hypoplasia, which is a really devastating problem because it affects the balance center of cats. So he has a lot of difficulty walking. You can be a special needs cat and still be a bully. And this cat was a bully. And, and Red, the other cat in the house, was so scared of Pip that he actually chose to leave. Jackson suggested that we have these mats on the floor to uh, encourage Pip to move around and, and, and make him feel more confident. Pip can't leave the floor. So we're going to make the floor his world. We're going to make the upper part of the world Red's world. So they both have something else going on. Uh, Pip doesn't focus so intently on trying to attack Red. Louise, your connection with Pip, it's almost too strong, and we don't want to break the bond, but we have to modify it. I thought I was comforting Pip by touching him, petting him, but what I was actually doing was uh, really telling him that that was okay behavior, encouraging him. So I've stopped babying Pip. You gotta take ownership of Pip a little bit. Tara, my roommate, uh, has really made an effort to spend time with Pip, handle him. She's no longer scared of him. The slightest chance he will climb out of a skylight. Now Red does not roam the neighborhood in the same way that he did before. In fact, he doesn't go into the other people's houses. I've asked them if they've seen him and they said no. And he's spending a lot more time at home. Red has a home. He's not home outside. He's not sitting out there in the rain. He lives there, Pip lives there, and there's a lot less aggression. Now I find that Red and Pip are much better. They're cohabiting. If I could tell Jackson something right now, I would say that you've really changed our lives for the better. My life, my roommate is incredibly grateful also. Red is newer in my life, and he wasn't having the kind of quality of life that he really deserves. And now with Jackson's help, I think that's really turned around. Louise, you deserve all the good that comes your way because you are a true rescuer. You took Pip off the streets as a kitten, but the biggest thing that you did was you actually released your hold on him, which is a hard thing to do. And that is a big deal. Because of that, you have a happy home. So again, you did the hard work. You show the dedication and love, and you have my dedication and love because of that.